Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva. I make videos all about sustainable, low waste living, veganism and minimalism. And today I'm going to be talking about 10 low waste swaps that you can make in your kitchen to live a more sustainable life. So the first thing that you can do to be more sustainable in your kitchen is to buy loose fruit and veg. So me personally, I love going to my local market. I have a market here three times a week that I can go to within three miles of my home. Although I do understand that this isn't available to everyone. So a lot of big supermarkets in the UK, such as Sainsbury's and Tesco's, do have a lot of loose fruit and veg. And they are a little bit more expensive though, sadly. That is something that a lot of environmentalists are campaigning for to get equal pricing on pre-packaged and loose fruit and veg. So if you can't afford it or you're just not in a position to be able to buy loose fruit and veg, don't beat yourself up, it's absolutely fine. There are lots of different ways that you can be more sustainable in your kitchen. The next thing is buying bulk food. So I buy most of my food in bulk. If you've been on my channel before, you will know this. I buy online um, from Whole Foods Online. I buy big bulk bags of things like rice and oats and beans, things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. If not, I would go to a low-waste shop. This can be more expensive going to a, pa a package-free shop, but buying bulk online is really, really good. I will link the company that I use down below. The next thing is to buy your utensils, your plates, your pots and pans, and all sorts of things second hand. So all of my pots and pans and my plates and my glasses and my cutlery and all my utensils are all second hand. I picked them up from charity shops when I moved out and a lot of them are from friends and family that no longer use them or wanted them or had upgraded or whatnot and didn't want them anymore. So I was very lucky to be able to get those from friends and family for free, but otherwise I bought them from charity shops. The next thing is to buy secondhand electronics for your kitchen. So things like kettles, toasters, microwaves, coffee machines, blenders, all sorts of stuff like that. All of our blenders and our instant pot are not secondhand. We got them new. This is a choice I made myself because I couldn't find them secondhand. And when my blender broke, last year i was very desperate for a blender so i bought myself a new one and one that i knew would last me a really really long time but otherwise our kettle toaster microwave fridge uh coffee machine and washing machine are all second hand we got them off of facebook marketplace ebay or we had our washing machine from my boyfriend's family because they were no longer using it so we got that the next thing is to compost. So I try and reduce my food waste as much as possible. In order to do this, when I produce food waste from like veg cuttings, I make stock out of my vegetable cuttings. And then with my banana skins, I make fertilizer and I use them to clean my plants. And then with things like lemons, I use them to make my homemade cleaning agent. So try and use your, your scraps as much as possible before you compost them. But then I put them in a little compost bin which I keep in my kitchen, then when that's full, I take it into my garden. We do have coffee grounds and tea leaves, which really help our compost, the worms, absolutely love it. So try and compost if you can. There are some great resources there on the internet if you live in a flat or an apartment rather than a house and don't have access to outdoor space on how to compost inside as well as outside. The next thing is kitchen roll. So growing up, I always had kitchen roll in my house, but when I moved out, I didn't want to do that anymore. So the only disposable rolls that we use is toilet roll. We don't have any tissues or any kitchen roll in our house. So we use hankies and we use tea towels. We use face cloths and we also use these little mini microfiber towels that I got years and years ago to just wipe up in any surfaces that have anything on it instead of using kitchen roll and any spillages we may have. The next thing is washing up. So I like to use BioD washing up liquid. I get refills at my local refill store. It's $1.99 for the refill and $2.79 for the actual bottle at my local store. It may be different wherever you are. I love this, it's biodegradable, even though the water that goes down our sink is gray water. It's important to make sure that the soap you're using is eco-friendly and biodegradable just in case any escapes and gets into your environment and you don't want it to be causing any issues within the ecosystem. So in terms of actually cleaning the dishes, I use two products. I use a dish brush that is wooden and has plant fiber bristles. <laughs> and I also use a face cloth. I buy my face cloths from secondhand stores and I just use them to scrub my dishes instead of buying 
alternatives. The next thing is to upcycle. So I've upcycled lots of things, especially jars. All of the jars in my kitchen were either given to me because they weren't being used by family members or upcycled from food that we got in them. I use jars for literally everything. <laughs> I also use the plastic top of a plastic bottle we had as a funnel and I also make produce bags out of scrap fabric and then I also use scrap fabric and plastic bags that I find to make sandwich bags. I will make videos on how to make these things in the future but sadly my sewing machine is currently out of operation so until that's fixed you're gonna have to wait for that one. The next one is do it yourself. So I love to make my own oat milk, I've talked about this before, I do have a video on my channel on how to make your own oat milk, also over on my Instagram, Eve the Vegan, I have a post all about how to make your own oat milk, how to make peanut butter and all sorts of wonderful things I make myself, I absolutely love making things myself, it doesn't take that long, you just need a little bit of preparation and other than that you're good to go. And finally the last thing, the last tip is to go vegan. This is much, much, much more sustainable than being omnivorous. It uses less land mass, less water, less grain. About 40% of the ice-free land on the surface of the earth is taken up by agriculture, mainly animal agriculture, because it requires so many grains to be grown to feed to the animals, to fatten them up and grow them in order to, um, for them to be murdered and cut up for us to eat on our plates. It's just easy if you cut out the middleman and then just eat the plants instead. <laughs> it's just much better for your health, it's better for the environment and it's way better for the animals too because they don't have to be unnecessarily bred, taken away from their mothers and murdered systematically for you to enjoy a 15 minute meal. And if you ever have any questions about veganism, sustainability or anything of the sort, please just drop me a message on Instagram and I'll happily help you out and point you in the right direction of some resources that I know of that can help you transition to a vegan diet. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any videos you want me to make. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.